I'm going to be building two decks to play against the Redhorn Gate. And the focus on these decks is willpower, condition, re attachment removal, how to deal with enemies, and healing. And you get severely punished in this quest if you don't have at least two willpower on your characters. And if you have zero willpower, they get discarded on the last class stage. So for the heroes, for deck one, I've got Glorfindel. He's a five threat spirit hero. Three, three, one, five. Moldor, noble warrior, force. After Glorfindel exhausts, to commit to a quest, raise your threat by one. Aragorn, he's a 12 threat leadership hero. Two, three, two, five. Dunedain noble ranger, sentinel, response. After Aragorn commits to a quest, Spend one resource from his resource pool to ready him. And I'm going to be doing a Messenger of the King deck where you can choose an ally from your deck and turn him into a hero and add his stats to your threat. I'm going to be choosing Ferial. He would be a nine threat lore hero, three, one, two, three, Harad scout, response. After Ferial commits to the quest, look at the top card of the encounter deck. Then you may discard the looked at card. So with these three heroes, they're all two to three willpower. Aragorn has self readying, and Furial has encounter control. Because when you go over mountains, there's a good chance you're going to get stuck in a snowstorm. So you've got to figure out a way to make it through. So for willpower, I have Farmer. He's a four cost leadership ally. Two, one, two, three. Gondor Noble Ranger. Exhaust Farmer to choose a player. Each character controlled by that player gets plus one willpower until the end of the phase. Gandalf, he's a five cost neutral ally, four, 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 Astari. Gandalf does not exhaust to commit to a quest. Forced, at the end of the refresh phase, discard Gandalf from play. You may raise your threat by two to cancel this effect. And to go on, Aragorn, the sword that was broken, a three cost leadership attachment, attached to a hero. Attached hero gains the leadership resource icon. If attached hero is Aragorn, each character you control gets plus one willpower. Another attachment for Aragorn, the Clavian Stone, attached to a hero, restricted. Attached hero gets plus two willpower. If attached hero is Aragorn, 
he also gains the spirit resource icon. And Ethereum Swordsman, a two cost spirit ally, one, 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 Outlands. Each Outlands character you control gets plus one willpower. Rider of the Mark, a three cost spirit ally, two, one, one, two, Rohan. Action. Spend one spirit resource to give control of Rider of the Mark to another player. Limit once per round. Response. After Rider of the Mark changes control, discard a shadow card dealt to an enemy you are engaged with. And a side quest. Rally the West. One cost, six quest point. Limit one copy of Rally the West in the victory display. While this quest is in the victory display, each hero gets plus one willpower. And for another global willpower and readying, the free people. Play only if you control nine characters with different traits. Or nine play only if you, the characters you control have a total of at least nine different traits among them. Action. Ready each character in play. Until the end of the phase, each character you control gets plus one willpower. And we're starting off with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different traits. And I have some unexpected courage for readying. It's a two cost spirit attachment attached to a hero. Action. Exhaust unexpected courage to ready attached hero. And the light of the valor to go on Glorpendel, a one cost spirit attachment attached to a Noldor or Sylvan hero. Attached hero does not exhaust to commit to the quest. And for the ally Gandalf. We have Shadow Facts. Attached to Gandalf. Gandalf gains range and sentinel. Action. Exhaust Shadow Facts to ready Gandalf. It's a three cost neutral attachment. And there's got to be locations in the mountains. So I got leather boots to go on Faramir. So one cost lore attachment item attached to a lore or ranger character. Limit one per character. Response. After a location is revealed from the encounter deck, exhaust leather boots to ready attached character. The health get rid of snowstorms and other nasty cards in the encounter deck. Got out of the wild. It's a three cost event. Secrecy two. Search the top five cards of your deck, of the encounter deck, for one non objective card worth no victory points and add it to the victory display. And then you add out of the wild to the victory display and shuffle the encounter deck. And to help keep snowstorms from being on top of the deck, I got Shadow of the Past. A two cost neutral event. Action. Moves the top card of the encounter discard pile to the top of the encounter deck. 
and you got to have Gandalf's staff. It's a two cost neutral attachment attached to Gandalf. Restricted. Action. Exhaust Gandalf's staff to choose one. Choose a player to draw a card. Add one resource to a hero's resource pool. Or discard a shadow card from a non unique enemy. And to cancel snowstorms, you have a test of will, a one cost spirit event. Response Cancel the win revealed effect of a card that was just revealed from the encounter deck. After more cancellation, I have the doors closed. A one cost floor event. Response. After a character, after an encounter card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel its effects and discard it if there is a copy of that card with the same title in the victory display. And to get rid of shadow cards, I have one lonely copy of Hasty Stroke. Response. Cancel a shadow effect just triggered during combat. And for healing, I have the Dunedain Remedy, zero cost leadership attachment attached to a hero. Response. After Dunedain Remedy is attached to a hero, heal one damage on that hero. Action. Pay one resource from attached hero's resource pool to attach Dunedain Remedy to another hero. Now for location control, I have Astaloth, a two cost lore attachment, mount, Attached to a Noldor or Sylvan hero. Action. Exhaust Asphalos to place one progress on any location. Two tokens instead if attached hero is Glorfindel. And the Ring of Bar here. A one cost spirit attachment. Artifact item ring attached to a hero. Attached hero is plus one hit point for each artifact attachment attached to it. If attached hero is Aragorn, he also gains the lore resource icon. And to get rid of condition attachments, with the power of Orsank. A zero cost spirit event, spell, doom two, action. Each player may choose and discard a condition attachment from play. And to help get different versions of Aragorn into play, I have Thorngill. A three cost neutral attachment, title, attached to a non-fellowship, non-baggins hero you control. Response. After you attach Thorngill to a hero, search your collection for a different non-fellowship, non-baggins version of that hero and attach it to Thorngill. While Thorngill is in play, attached hero gains the game text and resource of the attached hero's card. If Thorngill leaves play, remove the hero card attached to it from the game. Desperate Alliance, a zero cost spirit event, action, choose a hero you control until the end of the phase, give control of that hero and all resources in that hero's resource pool to another player. Limits one per phase. And for threat reduction, I have double back, a four, a zero threat 
So zero, zero cost for quest point side quest, limit one per deck, response. When this stage is defeated, reduce each player's threat by five. For more threat reduction, I have Elrond's console, a zero cost spirit event, action. If you control a unique Noldor character, give another character plus one willpower until the end of the phase and lower your threat by three. And to bring back Test of Wills and Elmron's Consoles, I have Dwarven Tomb, a one cost spirit event, action, return one spirit card from your discard pile to your hand. And since I'm going to be having so many cards going to the victory display, I have Kina's Lances as the last card. A five cost neutral event. Reduce the cost to play Kina's Lances by one for each card worth no victory points in the victory display. Action. Add Kina's Lances to the victory display. Then choose one, add two resources to a hero's resource pool, draw three cards, or reduce your threat by four. So there's all the cards. So the main focus of this deck is to get out sword that was broken as soon as possible. So we can get widespread willpower boosts and farm air. And to go through the quest as quickly as possible because my goal is to focus on willpower and go through the quest quick without having to deal with enemies. So try to get the enemies into the victory display and then cancel when they come out or have low enough threat that you can just leave them up in the victory display in the staging area or not destroy them but just keep engaged with you and be able to defend them. So there's all the cards for this deck. Now I'm going to go to deck two. And deck two has the same focus as deck one with willpower, keeping enemies up in the staging area, condition removal, and cancellation. So we're going to be doing a dwarf deck, with the leader of the company being Dane Ironfoot. He's an 11 threat leadership hero. One, two, three, five, dwarf noble. While Dane Ironfoot is ready, dwarf characters get plus one attack and willpower. And the reason why I said noble is this card has been eroded and they gave him the noble trait. Nori, a nine threat spirit hero, two, one, two, four, dwarf response. After you play a dwarf character from your hand, you reduce your threat by one. An Ori, 
an eight threat lore hero, two, two, one, three, dwarf. If you control at least five dwarf characters, draw one additional card at the beginning of the resource phase. Now for willpower, I have the Erebor Toymaker, a three cost spirit ally, two zero zero two dwarf craftsman response. After you play Erebor Toymaker from your hand, reduce the cost of the next attachment. Play this phase by two. Glowin, a three cost leadership ally, two, one, one, three, dwarf. While you control at least five dwarf characters, Glowin gains response. After you play Glowin from your hand, choose a hero. Add two resources to that hero's resource pool. Dwarven Sellsword, a one cost leadership ally, two, 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 three. Dwarf Warrior, forced. At the end of the round, discard Dwarven Sellsword unless the players as a group spend one leadership resource. So you keep on paying the resources like you're playing them every turn. We got Bofer. It's like he's in a snowstorm. It's a three cost spirit ally. Two, one, one, three. Dwarf quest action. Spend one spirit resource to put Bofer into play from your hand. Exhausted and committed to the quest. If you quest successfully, this phase, when Bofer is in play, return him to your hand. So if you quest unsuccessfully, he stays in play. And for a global boost, I have Untroubled by Darkness, a two cost spirit event, action. Each dwarf character gets plus one willpower till the end of the phase. Plus two instead if the active location is an underground or dark location. And now to keep enemies up in the staging area. I have ranger spikes. A two cost lore attachment, trap, play ranger spikes into the staging area, unattached. If unattached, attach ranger spikes to the next eligible enemy that enters the staging area. Players do not make engagement checks against attached enemy. Attached enemy gets minus two threat. And to help destroy enemies, I have poison stakes. A two cost lore attachment, trap, play poison stakes into the staging area, unattached. If unattached, place poison stakes. Attach poison stakes to the next eligible enemy that enters the staging area. And at the end of the round, you deal two damage to attached enemy. For readying, I have one copy of Unexpected Courage. A two cost spirit attachment condition attached to a hero. Action. Exhaust Unexpected Courage to ready attached hero. 
and I have ever my heart rises. A zero cost spirit attachment condition attached to a dwarf character. Response. After you travel to a mountain or underground location, ready attach character and reduce your threat by one. And we're going over mountains. And for card draw, I have King Under the Mountain. A two cost leadership attachment title attached to a dwarf hero. Exhaust King Under the Mountain to look at the top two cards of your deck. Add one to your hand and discard the other. And to get some free cards into play from, discard, from the top of my deck, I have Hidden Cash, a zero cost neutral event. Response After Hidden Cash is discarded from the top of your deck, add two resources to the resource pool of a hero you control. An action, spend one resource to draw a card. And the Aaron Lewin Miner is a three cost neutral ally. One, 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 two, dwarf. Response. After Aaron Lewin Miner is discarded from the top of your deck, put it into play under your control. So those are two good cards to have as your second card when you do King Under the Mountain. And to get cards out of the encounter deck, out of the wild, a three cost lore event, secrecy two, action. Search the top five cards of the encounter deck for any one non-objective card worth no victory points and add it to the victory display. Shuffle the encounter deck. Add out of the wild to the victory display. And to cancel those cards that are added to the victory display, I have the doors closed. A one cost floor event. Response. After a card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel its effects and discard it if there is a card with the same title in the victory display. And to cancel those snowstorms, I have a test of will, a one cost spirit event. Response. Cancel the win revealed effect of a card that was just revealed from the encounter deck. And to help get control of the encounter deck, I have Gildor's Console, a three cost lore event. Play during the quest phase before committing characters to the quest. Action. Reveal one less card from the encounter deck this phase to a minimum of one. And to cancel shadow effects, I have hasty stroke, a one cost spirit event. Response. Cancel a shadow effect just triggered during combat. And for a Global cancellation. I have Dawn Take You All, a two cost leadership event. Play only after shadow cards have been dealt, before any attacks have been resolved. Combat action. Each player may choose and discard one face down shadow card from an enemy with which he is engaged. And to get rid of condition attachments, I have Miner of the Iron Hills. A two cost lore ally, zero, one, one, two, dwarf. Response After Miner of the Iron Hills enters play, 
choose and discard one condition attachment from a play. And I don't care if he's discarded because if because the main focus on it is getting rid of the condition attachment. And since I'm going to have so many cards in the victory display, I've got keen as lances. A five cost neutral event. Reduce the cost of Keenan's Lances by one for each card worth no victory points in the victory display. Action. Add Keenan's Lances to the victory display. Then choose one. Add two resources to a hero's resource pool. Draw three cards or reduce your threat by four. And to help get back, cancellation, readying effects, and untroubled by darkness, I have Dwarven Tomb, a one cost spirit event. Action, return one spirit card from your discard pile to your hand. Card draw, I have a Legacy of Durin. It's a one cost lore attachment. Condition attached to a dwarf hero. Response after you play a dwarf character from your hand, you draw a card and it's limit once per round. It's been eroded. And for resource. Generation, I'm Steward of Gondor. A two cost spirit attachment. Gondor title. Attached to a hero. Attached hero gains the Gondor trait. Action. Exhaust. Steward of Gondor to add two resources to attached hero's resource pool. And to help smooth the resources, I have. Narvi's Belt, a two cost leadership attachment, item attached to a dwarf hero, action, exhaust Narvi's Belt to give attached hero a leadership, lore, tactics, or spirit icon until the end of the phase. And the last card, party leadership. A two cost leadership attachment attached to a leadership hero. Each dwarf character gets plus one hit point. So there's all the cards in the deck. The main focus is willpower and cancellation. So I hope you and these decks help you out and you learn some new information. And I'm going to give them both a test run against the Red Horn Gate. Have a great day. I'm going to be playing the Red Horn Gate, the first quest in the Dwarf Elf cycle. And deck one is going to be a messenger of the king. You cannot choose more than two heroes during the setup. Setup. Choose a non-neutral unique ally from your deck and put it into play. Add the sum of that ally's printed willpower, attack, defense, and hit points to your starting threat. Then flip this card over and attach it to that ally. Side B. Attached ally loses the ally card type and gains the hero card type. Attached character cannot be ready more than once per phase. Messenger of the King is immune to card effects while attached character is in play. 
If attached character leaves play, remove Messenger of the King from the game. And the ally I've chosen is Ferial. I have Aragorn and Glorfindel with a starting threat of 26. For deck two, I have my dwarf deck, led by Dane Ironfoot, Nori, and Ori. One A. Add Caradros to the staging area. Remove all copies of Snowstorm from the encounter deck and set them aside out of play. Put Arwen and Domniel into play under the control of the first player. So we've got Arwen. She's a 2-0-1-2 Noldor Noble Ally. The first player gains control of Arwen and Domniel as an ally. Response. After Arwen and Domniel exhaust, choose a hero. Add one resource to that hero's resource pool. And if she leaves play, the players are defeated. I'm removing all the copies of Snowstorm. I'm putting Caradross into the staging area. <clears throat> the starting threat for deck two is 28. Draw our opening hands. Sword that was broken. Gandalf, free people, test the will, Elrond's consul, and Akeen's lances. We're going to keep this hand. We want traps. Erebor, Toymaker, Legacy of Durin, Ever My Heart Rises, Untroubled by Darkness. Poison stakes and a hidden cache. We're going to take a mulligan. We want ranger spikes. Arbor Toymaker, Hidden Cash, Out of the Wild, Narvi's Belt, Dwarven Tomb, and a Hasty Stroke. One B. When revealed, reveal one encounter card from the encounter deck per player and add to the staging area. And it's got nine quest points.
black Eryx. When revealed, the first player must choose and discard an attachment from a questing character, if able. Well, there's nobody questing, so that whiffs. And a Snowwog. 28 engagement cost, 3, 3, 1, 4. Creature Snow. Allies cannot defend. Well, Snowwog is attacking. Forced. After a character is declared as a defender against Snowwog, deal one damage to the defending character if able. Well, we have a starting threat in the staging area at 8. It's not good. And that Snowwog is going to be engaging us unless we can reduce our threat. Draw a card, Rider of the Mark. Uh, we're not going to play anything. Dwarven Tomb. Not gonna play anything here either. Now we're gonna quest. Okay, got quest for us three. Okay, just grab by one. Four five and give Aragorn a resource. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We get a look at the top card. It's a mountain goblin. We're going to discard it. Uh, we're going to quest for two. Three. Four, five, six. So we're questing for 16 against 8. First card, Mountain Troll. Second card is a Avalanche. Snow. When revealed, exhaust each ready character. If it is the quest phase, commit them to the quest. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we added two. So the quest successfully by five. And the snow log is coming down. And we're going to take it undefended. 
No shadow. That puts three damage onto Dane. And go to the next round. Test well. I'm going to spend one and play a hidden cash and draw a card. That's all we're going to do there. Farm air. I'm going to put a sword that was broken on the Aragorn. Now all my characters get plus one willpower. That's all I'm going to play here. Now for questing, there's seven in the staging area. Now we're going to quest for three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Sixteen. And Burial is gonna look at the top card. Snow Wog, we're gonna get rid of it. Rocky Crags. And a mountain troll. Let add is six. That's a thirteen. Quest successfully by three. I'm going to play Elrond's console. Reduce our threat by three, and we quest successfully by four. So we go to the next stage. Two A. Snow drifts. 2B. 11 quest points. When revealed, shuffle one more copy of Snowstorm into the encounter deck than the number of players in the game. Force. After placing the 11th progress token on snow drifts, discard any active location. Carriage Ross becomes the active location. So we're going to be shuffling in three snowstorms. Now we are not going to travel. And we I forgot to give the resource to Aragorn. And now the wog is going to attack. We're going to block with Aragorn. No shadow. And Aragorn takes two damage, one from the attack and one from the force attack. 
Now we're going to attack with Dane and deal one damage to the Snowlog. Go to the next round. Easier swordsman. I'm going to put a Rider of Rohan into play. Now we're going to go over to deck two. Keenest Lances. We're going to play a Out of the Wild. You to search the top five cards of the counter deck for a card non objective card worth no victory points and add it to the victory display. Mountain Goblin, Snowstorm, Fallen Stones, Rocky Crags, and a Mountain. Log. We're going to put the snowstorm into the victory display. It's got a nasty wind revealed effect that all your questing characters get minus one willpower. So now, Kena's Lance has cost three. I'm going to put Narvi's belt onto Nori. Now we're going to quest. Got four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's a resource to Aragorn. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Take off three. We have seventeen. And there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. First one. Thermal snare. We'll keep it. And then a snowstorm. Each character gets minus one. No, thank you. We're going to play a test of will. Cancel that effect. So we quest successfully by two.
Now we're going to attack. We're going to block with Aragorn. No shadow. He takes two damage again. Now we're going to attack with Dane and Nori. And he's destroyed. Go to the next round. Gildor's Consul. I'm going to spend one to Dwarven Tomb and put a Test of Will back into my hand. I'll go over to deck two. Deck one. I'm going to spend four and put a Farmir into play. You can exhaust them to give willpower to all characters that player controls. Now we're going to spend one and put a leather boots onto them. So now the location is revealed, it readies them up, and you can do it all over again. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine traits in play. So I can play the free people. And that's all I'm going to do. And now we're going to quest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Give Ori a resource. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Now we're going to give each of these here characters another resource of so 25, or another willpower, by exhausting Faramir. Now Furial, oh, first we go 2, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in the staging area. And Furial looks at the top, fell voices, now we'll get rid of it. Banis, it's a mountain. We're going to keep that there. And the Fallen Stones. The first player chooses one. Remove all progress tokens from play or reveal two cards from the encounter deck and adds them to the staging area. We're going to play a Test of Will and cancel that effect. We're going to use it with this deck. So we added three. So we. Oh, we also got a location, revealed a location, so it readies Faramir. He's going to exhaust and give all characters over here plus one willpower. So that adds four more. So. Request successfully by 11. So 
So that puts enough on here to be able to travel to the Peridros and go to the next stage. Three A, the mountains peaks. Three B, thirteen quest points. When revealed, shuffle all copies of Snowstorm in the counter discard pile back into the encounter deck. Characters are discarded from play if their willpower is ever zero. Players cannot defeat this stage unless they have five victory points in the victory display. If the players defeat this, defeat this stage, they have won the game. So Caradross is three, and then we've got FanDuel, it's two. Now we're going to go to the next round. First we have to shuffle all those. Snowstorms. One snowstorm. Yep, we only got one snowstorm there, so that means we're going to have we got two to deal with. Desperate Alliance. So we could play Gandalf or the Free People. We're going to put Gandalf into play. So he doesn't exhaust the quest. But you have to pay two threat to keep him in play. Now go over to deck two. Test the will. We're going to play the Erevor, Erevor Toymaker. Reduce our spread by one. Now we're going to quest. We're going to give all of deck two's characters plus one willpower. So we're going to quest for four, raise our script by one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. And here we're going to be questing for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we minus off 11, 
12, 13, 14. Now we have to minus off one. So we take off nine, so that's four, a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five after the subtraction. And there's two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen in the staging area. And we're going to play a Guild Wars console. So we only reveal one encounter card this round. And Ferial looks at the top. Cell Voices. We are going to just... We'll just cancel it. Oh, first we had Arwen gave Noria resource. So we're just going to cancel that. So we quest it successfully by 10. And that clears Peridros and puts one progress onto the main quest. And now we travel to the Fanta's to hole. And while it's the active location, heroes must spend one resource from the resource pool to count their willpower during the quest phase. And now we're going to go to the next round. We have to raise our threat by two to keep Gandalf in play. Unexpected courage. We are not going to play anything. Go over to deck one, test the will. We're not going to do anything here. And now during the quest, going to the questing phase, we don't have the reduction anymore. So we have, we're going to spend one resource from all our heroes' resources pools to counter willpower because of the actual location. And we're questing for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Farmer is going to give them another 4. So that's 15, 20, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 34, 35, 34. We have to raise our threat by one. And we're going against 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. First card, Bitter Wind. When revealed, the first player must discard three resources from each of his hero's resources pools.
unless we gave a resource to Glorfindel. A card two, a snowog. So that's three. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We crossed successfully my nineteen. So I put seven here and twelve out of the main quest. Fulfilling the quest. And we have five victory points in the victory display. So there's a win. Took six rounds. You see how these two resource buffs were the MVPs of the sword that was broken in Farmir. We might not have played hardly anything, and the deck really showed nothing of what it can do because of how powerful the other deck was. Hope you enjoyed watching, and have a great day.